Hi everyone, welcome back to the Guitar Immersion YouTube channel. Alright, today we have with us the special limited edition pedal by Ibanez and Vemurum. Now, Ibanez is known for its Tube Screamer pedals, yeah, and Vemurum, Vemurum is known for its Gen Ray pedal. Okay, so both of them actually came together and made this limited edition beautiful pedal. Uh, they call it the Overdrive Pro TSV. 808 supposed to have a little bit of the tube screamery sound with the genre uh, kind of combined together so pretty pretty cool now this pedal is not new uh, it's been in the market uh, I think a few years already and it's limited so you can't buy this anymore so a big shout out to Benny for loaning us this pedal so that we can do a quick review on it all right so what we're gonna do uh, same thing is our trusty uh, James Tyler Studio Elite HD is going to the exotic super sweet pedal and then it's running into the uh, Vemurum Ibanez Vemurum Tube Screamer Overdrive Pro TSV808 and then it's going to my HX Storm and in my HX Storm we have a compressor turn on uh, I'm using a orange rocker air model this time so slightly different from the matches that we always use but I'm going to the same IR which is a green bag Okay, and finally a hall reverb. So pretty standard, simple chain. And then finally it's going to my computer for recording. All right, so we're going to hear how this pedal actually sounds. So this is my clean tone. All right, so this is my clean tone. Okay, so I have the Vemurum set to, uh, this is the drive by the way, this is the volume and this is the tone, okay? And uh, there's two, two uh, what we call uh, mini pots at the back that you can adjust the saturation with like the drive and the bass level. So I've kind of tweaked a little bit already, okay? So I'm not going to change the, the, the saturation on the bass level at the back. There are also internal dip switches which are also default. So what we're going to do is we're going to play around with the uh, main three knobs. Alright, so I'm going to set my drive all the way to zero, my volume somewhere about the 10 o'clock position, my tone in the middle. So here's how this sounds like with the Vermeer turn on. <laughs> Okay, so, so I think straight away you can hear that with when the pedal is engaged, firstly, uh, there's going to be a lot more body going on. Very typical of a Gen Ray type sound. So Gen Ray is supposedly like super, uh, supposedly transparent like the Timmy, but yet it has a enlarged body. So in this case, uh, I'm hearing that characteristic coming out. And also the bass, uh, bass level at the back is actually uh, quite high so that kind of contribute as well to the uh, fatness of the tone yet it's not very muddy okay a very nice uh, boost as well in terms of the volume so a volume is less than actually less than half right here so uh, if you, you can get go way more uh, if you require but uh, I like this setting uh, it just gives me a little bit more, bit more uh, volume and yet it gives me like a little bit more grit at zero so I'm gonna use the neck pickup right now I was using the uh, middle and neck just now so I'm gonna use the neck and let's hear how this sounds <laughs> Okay, 
I just jamming away there. Okay, so you can hear it's a very nice, tight, yet fat kind of sound at drive near zero. Of course, if you don't like this uh, level of saturation, you can still bring it down on the trim pot at the back. Okay, but then I think this level to me, it's actually pretty beautiful. Uh, just nice for what I need to do in a, a nice first stitch kind of uh, for lines or even for some simple rhythms. I think it works very well. Okay, so right now let's bring up the drive level to maybe at 9 o'clock. Let's see, is there any really a lot of difference? <laughs> So uh, there's definitely a little bit more drive at uh, 9 o'clock position, a bit more enjoyable to play actually because there's a little bit more sustain going on. So uh, very usable drive at near 0 or 9 o'clock. Let's try it at 12. Let's hear how this sounds. <laughs> So definitely very usable uh, for your rhythms at 12 o'clock. I think it's very good tight rhythms, uh, yet not too flubby or messy. Um, let's push the gain right now some more. So let's push it. Uh, let's try max. Let's see how it sounds. <laughs> some delay Beautiful sounding pedal, a very usable sweep of gain from near from zero, right, all the way to full. You get a very nice uh, palette of gain structure for actually a lot. Can, it can cover a lot of grounds. Of course, you have to turn it when you're playing, right? But uh, this pedal just shows that you know 
it can actually cover a lot of grounds, a lot of territories with with just a change of the gain structure. I didn't even touch the volume and the tone, right? So uh, to me, it's a very very nice sounding. Uh, firstly, it enhances your tone it thickens the tone i think that's a very important thing uh, all guitarists are looking for that fat kind of tone right especially from a single coy uh, you want a beefier tone yet with the shrettiness sound going on uh it, this pedal or the vermeroon genre actually does give you the extra body okay tube screamer are known to be very mid push right but in this case i don't really hear a lot of mid push uh but it's just a bit more on the bassier end and uh it does give enough grit, okay, for your low gain needs to your high gain needs. All right, so I uh, hope you enjoy this quick uh, run through of this pedal. Uh, to me, it's a very versatile pedal. Okay, play around with the bass trim pot and the saturation trim pot to suit your personal taste. All right, if you do like this kind of video, do give us a good thumbs up, subscribe to our channel, and stay tuned for the latest videos. Okay, take care, God bless. I will see you real soon. Bye.